So guys, with me right now is somebody that I've been a big fan of since she started social media. Lalani Locktel, welcome to this interview. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. You know, in gaming, we never sit still. There's always something to do. And in videos, never. you even have less, even, you have even less time. So yeah, it's, uh, it's always true. fun. But the reason why we're speaking now is not, uh, it's Women's Month, but uh, off the back of that, you launched a new, I don't know, what do you call it? An initiative, a campaign, a project, yep. a company called Control Her, yes. um, in which you guys are you now, well, tell me a little bit more about this. How, how did this initiative come about? So basically, I really wanted to get more women into tech and into PCs and like all the nitty gritty stuff. And I really wanted to start a workshop on teaching women how to build PCs. The time frame was a bit tight, but I spoke to a few people. They really liked the idea. And then we decided to do something around Comic-Con. And mm -hmm. from after Comic-Con, we're just going to keep building and, you know, getting more women into tech, getting them excited, teaching them all the cool stuff. And yeah, become independent women. <laughs> so we don't need a man <laughs> to help us with our PCs. No offense, guys. You, no, you've never needed you've never needed <laughs> men with your PCs, guys. PC building is a phenomenal <laughs> uh, hobby and learning curve, I guess. Yeah. So I mean tell us about what actually happens within control. What are you doing? Gopher, hear me out. If you use this as a place to hold your sweets, I've basically become an expert PC modder. And now you have a sweet compartment in your PC. I don't think so. What we're actually doing is giving two women the chance to learn and build a PC in live at Comic-Con Africa. My name is Laptop and I love building and modding PCs. I've teamed up with Asus ROG to empower more women to get hands-on with tech. And we want you to feel the confidence and power that comes with building your own rig. Hit the link in my bio, enter the competition and tell me why you want to learn how to build your own rig. Two finalists, two full weekend passes, and you'll get to build a gaming rig with me. And one of you will walk away with the PC you created. So no, it's not a snack draw, but what we are doing is building something epic. But tell me a little bit about that process. What are you looking for in terms of the lessons you are teaching and also kind of some of those um, important factors within computers that you're trying to um, teach? I'm trying to give more women like a hands-on experience. I think, you know, you can only watch so many YouTube videos and tutorials and stuff and it does help. But I feel like so much more women need that opportunity to have the hands-on feel and, you know, to build something themselves. And I mean, we all know, well, for those that have built a PC, how satisfying it is when you turn on a computer. I mean, it's like, ah, oh, <laughs> and it boots and it's amazing. So I just want to give back that feeling. So what we've done so far is just, you know, getting the brand out there, getting people to know what it is and what I'm going to be doing. And so we've started the, the competition for Comic-Con Africa, where we'll be choosing two lucky ladies to come learn and build their own PC with me at Comic-Con. And then we'll be giving it away, one of the PCs away to one of the ladies. And yeah, just like spreading that cheer and vibe and getting more women, especially at Comic-Con Africa, people are going to be walking past and seeing what we're doing. And hopefully that inspires more women to like, get into it, get involved, and maybe join for a future workshop. So this is not just about gaming. This is really about getting hands on with the hardware. And yes. whether it's for business, for your kids, or for gaming, is that kind of the objective here? Yeah, but so, so it's more just the tech side of things and getting women more into tech. I think the moment women start seeing the possibilities there's so many avenues to go like I mean then they can decide to do like game development or you know hardware studies or like you know modding like what I do um, there's so many different avenues to go into it so I'm hoping by just starting with this little small thing that it'll grow and give people like a little bit more insight on like 
what more they can do with tech. It's also just building a community of empowering women and, you know, making women feel safe and comfortable in the space um, to grow and to learn. And, you know, I guess just there, there's so many things that goes into building a PC. Like it's... <laughs> It might see, seem simple sometimes, but there's also so many troubleshooting stuff. And I think that's also one thing I really want to get women to be able to do is that if they have a problem with their PC or they have an issue, they can troubleshoot it themselves. You know, they'll have the confidence wow. to dig deeper and like fix those things. You know, um, I might even go into the future, like more software stuff, like RGB, you know, RGB can be such a headache. So <laughs> there's so many oh, things yeah. that oh, yeah. I just want to get out there and teach women and i mean even guys like i wouldn't mind to have a workshop for the guys even you know but i don't know if they, they about... would like me to teach them but <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> no I, I was about to say those things you're talking about now i mean it's very applicable to anybody really building i mean i still struggle i've been building pieces for years and i still struggle yes. with the most random things from time to time No. so definitely. what are the things what are the things that you need for this for for control her i mean besides obviously always hardware and i'm sure you want sponsors on board but what are some of the things you need yes. like tools anti-static mats you know there's all these little things that people don't think about yeah there's there's always like the tiny things that you and i've been having this discussion with our current partners or like all the small things that we don't think about like we all think about oh we need the the hardware we need the pc the motherboard all those things but when it comes down to the small things like um, as what they call it, like a soldering mat, one of those silicone soldering mats. Those work amazing when you're working with a motherboard and you're just putting in the CPU and the RAM and all the small things before you put it into the case. Tools is a big thing as well. Like, I mean, you can pick up any screwdriver, but that doesn't mean the screwdriver is going to have the little magnetic thing in it. And that helps a lot. Like you drop screws like crazy when you build a PC and like, we can't have that. <laughs> we can't have that. So yeah, tools is a big part. Um, and I think just, yeah, like more people to get involved in like just sharing it and like sharing the love for it, if that makes sense. Uh, the love and the knowledge, yes. Yeah. And and do you plan on having anything like an online presence where people can, I mean, how would people get involved with it now if they're interested? So is it a website, social media? Where so would they at the up? moment, it's just me. If anyone wants to get involved, they'll contact me. I think it's just, it's a time thing now with Comic-Con being so close around the corner. So we don't uh -huh. have a lot of presence online. But hopefully after this, we'll have like more presence. Like there'll be a social media, websites, all those types of things. And people can like see on there what we're doing and what's coming up um i think that's definitely like the goal to grow it bigger and further you know so it's a bigger community of women that stand together and teach and love and share that it really sounds amazing now if in terms of the sponsors who do you want to is there anybody that you're working with that you want to speak more about or is it just just the one that we've been seeing online, just the one brand. <laughs> so yes, we, we're currently only working with Asus ROG. I mean, they've been so amazing in supporting this initiative and this campaign. Um, initially, when I mentioned when we mentioned it to them, we were so scared that, you know, they're not really going to understand the vision, but they were so on board from the get go and so excited to work on this. So, you know, feeling the love from them really made me happy and like made me like, oh, okay, this was actually a good idea. And it wasn't, <laughs> I didn't have to stress as much anymore. And yeah, they've been really good at like supplying all the hardware and getting all the things together for Comic-Con. I mean, we'll be on their stand as well. So there's a space for us um to showcase this building and you know getting everyone involved so yeah no they they've been really good <laughs> good so far but I'll, I'll be very excited to see more people joining in the future of course oh definitely i think we're gonna have to have another conversation or two after comic-con i know everybody's ramping up for that so we won't take the focus off of that but nag obviously we want to get involved and we want to stay involved with with this initiative yes. and these type of initiatives i think it's very important because they, they build little communities, and that's what people want, right? There's a lot of yeah. communities, a lot of gamers, a lot of techies out there, especially if you look at the international stuff. But finding yeah. local homegrown people to talk about the same things, right? Definitely. Getting parts. What do I do when you're troubleshooting, right? South African exactly. conditions require South African solutions. Yeah, and like where, where to buy is a big thing. Because when you look overseas, people there have such easy access to parts for PC builds. We're not quite there yet. I hope that we'll, 
it'll get better with time. I mean, it has been improving with the years. Um, but that that is a big thing. Just like telling people where to buy, where they can go, where they can get all the parts, you know, even the small things, like we said, like the mats and the screwdrivers and the tools and all those things. Are, it's helpful to tell people even those small things. Mm, definitely. And it's also supporting those local businesses. I mean, you can buy yes. a lot of these things online. Definitely. But definitely. again, it's finding the local guys because those are the ones, those are the companies that's going to bring in the hardware that you want. And, yes. you know, yeah, definitely. It's, it's very we, we have to support local. <laughs> we have to, you know, keep everyone running and like excited and not feel like, I think if, if we look back at like the history, um, a lot of, people didn't really think that women are so into the gaming and the tech and they would sometimes not really want to bring in the pink peripherals or the pink hardware. So I'm definitely seeing a shift in that and I'm hoping it will continue and keep, you know, giving the girls what they want, <laughs> whether it's a purple PC or pink PC, you know, we love all those things. No, exactly. And I think, yeah, we all want color in our lives. Look at our beautiful lighting. I mean, matchy, matchy, you know, so... <laughs> What yes, love the initiative, love the initiative. Uh, Lulani, I think we're going to be chatting a lot after this. Uh, we'll definitely yes. do an update in terms of seeing how it went, maybe even chat to you at Comic-Con. Yes. Um, but I think, yes, let's chat afterwards. I've got a couple of ideas already of how NAG can get involved with you guys and yeah, Amazing. help you grow your con community and yes. yeah, enable more women to build pieces. I think it's the best idea ever. It's so much fun. No, uh, definitely. Better than building Legos. <laughs> Better than building Legos. I mean, Legos are quite fun, but... Better than building Legos, for sure. Yeah, exactly. You can play actually. You can actually play games on it. So, the best. <laughs> that's the plus. That's the plus. <laughs> um. So, Reichard, if you don't mind me, I just want to yeah. just talk a little bit about the competition and how everyone can enter, so they at home know. Um, Please so, do. Yeah. So for for all those at home, and I'm not just saying it for the girls, because guys, you also need to share it with your wives, your girlfriends, your mothers, your sisters, your mm -hmm. community WhatsApp group. I say this all the time. Um, but basically, girls, if you've ever felt like you wanted to get into tech and you're too scared, this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity for you to try it out, to test it out. No one's judging you. This is a judge-free zone. This is for complete beginners. And even for those that have, maybe have a little bit of knowledge, but they want to expand on that. Um, I, I urge you to enter the competition. All we need from you is to submit a video telling us why you want to learn how to build a PC. And then we'll pick two lucky ladies to come join me at Comic-Con Africa. You'll get weekend passes to come and join us. And then one of you will walk away with the PC you built. And the PCs will be modded with a little bit of elf spice. So that's also exciting. It's going to be unique. It's going to be for you. So yeah, definitely enter, definitely share it with Anyone you know, um, maybe if you didn't think that your sister liked tech, share it with her anyway. Maybe that sparks something in her and she's like, oh, actually, this sounds really cool. Let me try it out. So, yeah, please, guys, <laughs> enter. And I can't wait to see you guys there. And I can't wait to sh spread the love and share the love and my knowledge and, you know, get this community growing. Well, I don't know what else to say off the back of that, but other than our support is 100% and I can't wait to, to see how you guys are going to rock those rock South African um, PC builders and maybe the next big PC building company starts Definitely. as a female owned business. Maybe, maybe. You never know. You never know. Lilani, for anybody that doesn't know you, where can they find you? Okay. So you can find me on all major socials. So Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. All under locked elf 69. Don't ask me why the number, it's just there. <laughs> but you can find me online um, and my DMs are always open. I've had a lot of people DM me with questions, if they get stuck with a build, all those types of things. I'm always available to help. So please guys, DMs are always open. If you have questions about the competition, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to answer any questions. Awesome. Lilani, thank you so much. Good luck with uh, Comic-Con and good luck to everybody that enters for this amazing prize. Of course. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate you guys having me. The nag love is always, like, I always feel it so much. You guys are always supporting me in the background. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to talk with me. I hope to do so again soon after Comic-Con. Keep up the good work. Yeah, we can't wait uh, to see what you do next. Cheers. Cheers.